Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's Grade 6, Unit 1, Lesson 14, Practice Problems Review is on nets and surface area. Can this net in Problem 1 be assembled into a cube? Explain how you know. Label parts of the net with letters or numbers if it helps your ex explanation. Um, with these four squares here, 1, 2, 3, 4, being placed side by side, it can only be folded one way to meet up with one another making a cube without a top and a bottom. One of the two remaining squares can be folded to make a top or bottom, but the other one can't be used. So you can picture these four as kind of folding up to form the sides. One of these two could be the top or the bottom, but you're not going to be able to get the other one to match that. So this is going to be a no. Question two. What polyhedra can be assembled from this net and explain how you know? Well, we have a bunch of rectangles and two triangles. And so if I look at those two triangles, those are going to be my bases. And so this is a triangular prism. You have two identical triangle bases. And then other faces are rectangles. And in B, it says, find the surface area of this polyhedra and show your reasoning. Well, let's look at these triangles first. The triangles are identical. Let's call them triangle A and triangle B if you really like. If I look for the right angle, I have a height of 3 and a base of 4. And so, area for triangles for both A and B here, area equals our base times our height divided by 2. And we have the base of 4, the height of 3, and we're dividing by 2. So we're going to take 12 and divide it by 2 to get 6. Now, it's 6 for one of the two triangles. If I multiply by 2, that gets me 12 total for the two triangles. And now we can look at our rectangles. Let's call them C, D, and E. Rectangle C is 4 by 5. Rectangle D is 3 by 5. Rectangle E is 5 by 5. And we'll go find the area of these three rectangles so we can add it up. C, our area is length times width for a rectangle. So 4 for the length, 5 for the width. 4 times 5 is 20. Rectangle D, area will be length times width again. We'll have 3 times 5, which is 15. And lastly, rectangle E, Area is still length times width, which is 5 times 5, which is 25. And now if I take these five faces, the 12 for the two triangles, the 20 plus the 25 plus the 15, we will get a surface area of 72 square units. Moving on to question three. Here are two nets. May said that both nets can be assembled into the same triangular prism. Do you agree, explain, or show your reasoning? Well, we definitely have two triangular bases here, and they definitely match. And so if we move on to the rectangles then, A, B, and C, and A, and then can match A, B, and C in net B. And they can fold together, and they will form the same prism, so yes. Four, here are two three-dimensional figures. Tell whether each of the following statements describes figure A, B, both, or neither. Well, in A, this figure is a polyhedron. It's true for both. One's a prism, one's a pyramid. That's, that's true. This figure in B has triangular faces, both for 
these. There are more vertices than edges in this figure. That's uh, neither for both of those. D, this figure has rectangular faces. That's just A, and you can see one, two, three. E, this figure is a pyramid. Well, there's only one of them that has one base, and that's B. Then, there is exactly one face that can be the base for this figure. Well, you would think B, because it's only one base for a uh, pyramid. But you look at all those triangles, and all those triangles could be the base because they're all the same. So we're going to say neither for this one because B is a special, special pyramid. G, the base of this figure is a triangle. That's true for B. And it's true for A. So for G, we're actually going to say both. And then in H, this figure has two identical and parallel faces that can be the base. So that's the, what a prism has, and that's going to be A. Five, select all units that can be used for surface area. In other words, all units that are square units. That's A, square meters. Not B, that's, that's a distance. So is centimeters. Cubic inches, that deals with volume. And then square inches and square feet both deal with areas and surface areas for that matter. In question six, find the area of this polygon and show your reasoning. Well, we're going to need to divide this into different shapes. I see three triangles and a rectangle in our near future. So if I draw a line down here, draw a line across here, draw another line down, I have triangle A, triangle B, triangle C, and rectangle D. And this is what we need to find the area of. So if we focus on A first, it's a triangle, base times height divided by 2, or times 1 half. Our base here is 3. We can count that on the grid. And then if we bring down kind of a parallel side to that vertex, that has a height of 2. So 3 times 2, and divided by 2 is 6 divided by 2, which is 3. Let's move on to B. In B, we have a base of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and a height coming down at the right angle, right through that vertex this time. That height is going to be 1, 2, and 3. So base times height divided by 2, or times 1 half again. We get 6 times 3 divided by 2, which is 18 divided by 2, which gives us an area for B of 9. Moving on to C. Looks familiar to A, but let's just double check and count these. Our base is 3, parallel line for the height, gets us a, a height of 2. And yes, that is the same as A, so we could say C is the same thing as A, which is 3. D. It's a rectangle. Don't divide by 2. It's just going to be length times width. In this case, it's 6 times 3, which is 18. And now that I have all four of these, we can add them up. 3 plus 9 plus 3 plus 18. little math thing here. We can do 3 plus 9 is 12, plus 3 plus 18 is 21. Add those two together. 12 plus 21 is 33 square units. And that is it for this grade six. Practice problems review over nets and surface area, which is lesson 14 in unit one. Good luck.